is Scotty McClure. It's Saturday night, 10 o'clock. Nothing gets past me. And here we are live with the phone in. This is just incredible. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Get following on there. And, of course, we are live right across these wonderful platforms. We're also on LinkedIn. And we've just been joined by the TikTokers. How amazing is that? Hi, Scotty. Hi, Martin. <coughs> <coughs> Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to our Saturday night. Now we're off to the telephones. Let's just see who we've got here. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scotty. It's Kareem. Hello. Ah, Kareem. How lovely to have you with us. You were, you were, you've done very well to get on first because you've got <laughs> competition. Absolutely. I know. I know I need to be on my mark. <laughs> How are you tonight, Kareem? Lovely to hear you. Not too bad, thank you, Scotty. It's fake to take the dogs out later on, but it's bucketing from the heavens here. Well, I've just heard the rain outside. I thought, that sounds like heavy rain. I think yeah. everybody should stay in and watch the phone in. <laughs> Absolutely. And again, I'll be putting you on the big screen after this phone call. Oh, uh, listen, Kareem, over. thank you for that. That was amazing the other night. What does it look like? Does it look okay? I like it because basically I've got you in the background and I'm listening to you, but I can read all the comments as well that people are doing. Right. Make comments and you know, it's just... It's, now, it's can you it's see all the live chat then? Yes, I can see the live chat on my phone, but I've got you on the, the backgrounds on my own. Ah, oh, fantastic. So, so, phone, so see YouTube, when you look at... If people are watching you just now, Scotty, on their phone on YouTube, at the top right-hand corner, it's like a, a box, and if they press that box... It can transfer onto their TV if they have a smart TV. Ah, so they can live cast it or see or something like that. Yes. So yes. That's it. How so fantastic. I, Kareem, we haven't even scratched the surface with all this, and it's just amazing. There's people. Yeah. You see, I've got people on TikTok. Are you a lawyer? There's people following us here on TikTok. It's fantastic. Everybody's on here sending TikToks. Hello, TikTok. Hello, TikTokers. Hello, TikTokers. This is Kareem. You're hearing live on the phone in. Fantastic. <laughs> Zippity doo, Scott McClue. There's somebody from Pennsylvania, Kareem. Ah, you see, so it's, yeah, it's just wonderful stuff. And of course, Pennsylvania, if I remember right, was where Andrew Carnegie set up his steelworks. Ah, right. Okay. The Pennsylvania oh, called okay. after William Penn. Just sure. never a dull moment. Now, Kareem, I've also done a little bit of housekeeping today. I've altered the title slightly. So it's now Scotty McClue, the internet, phone in, hashtag floatai. Do you think that's okay? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yeah. because it is the internet phone in. And if I'm honest about it, up until now, there's about 1,700 Scotty McClue videos in the video uh -huh. library on YouTube. And up until now, it was really just somewhere to park the videos. But I think that's now changed dramatically. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I think it's, it's great. And it's, the videos are good to have them on in the background. If you're doing your cleaning, if you're doing your washing, you can have a wee listen. Um, it's all there for people, and it'll be there for years to come as well. It's, it's, it's really good. It's fantastic. And, you know, we'll build up the platforms. We might add extra platforms as time goes on. Absolutely. And yeah. a lot of people inquiring. I mean, you've been so generous since the start. You're always popping in a pound and a fiver and these things. But a lot of people asking, how do I contribute to it? And I said, well, yeah. thank you. You don't have to. I make that clear. I say, no, no, I want to. Yes. I think the first thing, Scott, if someone asks you that, then like and share, tell 10 to tell 10. Yes. That's the basic thing they can do. That's the very best thing they can be doing. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. No, uh, that's uh, excellent. Yes. Well, Scotty, today we were right what we spoke yesterday yes. regarding the, the Orange Walk. We knew there would be trouble. And there has been. Yes. You know, um, and I just, I didn't read too much into it as well, but I know that was a, like, a lot of the... The, the, the churches, there was people outside them protecting them, yes. uh, obviously, when the, the, the walks were going by. Well, you see, nobody should to have to be them. in fear of something like that. There should be no threat. Uh, oh, 
I, I, I agree with that completely. Um, if I'm anything, not... it should be a festive atmosphere. So yeah. there should never, ever be any fear of it, because this is some sort of ancient rite going back. When I say rite, I mean R-I-T-E, going back, yeah. you know, to, to uh, uh, you know, 330 years. 331 uh -huh. years. Yeah. You know, yeah. Scotland was still independent when this came on here. Yeah. You know, and I'm wondering if Scotland should say, look, we don't really approve of this because people get anxious and some of your people are unpleasant. Uh -huh. yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I, I understand. I get that totally. And there is always, I think we said last night as well, that you have the people that are in the walk that are in the band, they're playing the instruments, they're doing their thing. But it's the people that follow from the streets. It's the people that are, as I call, brain dead, that will just tag along and want the trouble, that want to cause uh, anxiety, that want to vandalise. And it's, it's, it's Well, you horrible. see, there shouldn't be. We need to change this whole way of thinking that you Correct. reap what you sow. If you put out unpleasantness, nastiness, if you damage anything, that's what you're going to get back. There was a saying that if you make life all about you, that's all you'll end up with. And it's true. If, obviously, they would need planning application for events like this. So that means there'll be people that, or, or some of the groups that will be in charge for the planning. If there's any vandalism, if there's anything destroyed, then they need to pay for that. Yeah, that should be written into it. But let's look at this another way. Councils were banning Christmas trees in case it affected our Islamic brothers and sisters. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. So they were banning Christmas trees. But they're quite happy to let the orangemen walk. Now, do, could that by any chance offend Christian people? Absolutely. What would Jesus what would Jesus think of the Orange Lodge? It purports to represent the crown and the Bible. So what does the crown and the Christian churches think of the Orange Lodge? That's what we need to find out. This needs to be discussed in a far, far bigger place. Uh, and that's why it should be talked about on here. Yeah. You know, it needs a much wider forum. People need to be consulted. Yeah. What yeah. are you representing? Was King yeah. William a good choice? Was he representative of the crown? You know, you know what, what King William was the English king. What yeah. does he have to do with Northern Ireland and Scotland? But I think, Scotty, that requires too much thinking. And I think for some people, they don't really want to do that. They're just more than happy to cause trouble. Uh, and it, ne it needs to be... I think we need to do the thinking. I think the first thing that has to be acknowledged is that we were all Roman Catholic until about 500 years ago. And that Catholics and Protestants are an identical religion. Mm -hmm. Absolutely identical they're part of the Christian faith. What yeah. does Jesus think of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, Scotty, a lot of them won't care. A lot of them won't attend the services if they're going to the... I, I believe, I mean, I don't know enough about it, but I believe that the rules are very strict for orange men. I say orange men, I mean, there are a lot of ladies in the Orange Lodge. I don't know if you can only be an orange man and the ladies go along with you. Perhaps somebody will ring and tell us. We would like that. But orange person, maybe. an orange person. Now, if you are an orange person, if you're a supporter of William of Orange, who was a dreadful man, there's no doubt yeah. about that. But if you're a supporter of, uh, of, of that, then, um, you know, Things are pretty strict, I think. I think if you do anything wrong, you're out the Orange Lodge. Right. Okay. So I don't think okay. they can have the finger pointed at them as being the vandals or the troublemakers. But we need to yeah. look into it all. Yeah. But I think it goes back to what I said, Scotty, in terms of you've got the ones that see the Orange uh, parade coming towards them. 
and they come off the street and they join at the back and it's the trouble starting, you know. And Because I, I do think the ones that are on this walk are pretty much focused when their, their instruments doing what they need to do. Yes. And fine. But it's the people that are jumping on, the brain dead, the zombies, whatever you want to call them. That's me sorry. I'll take that back. That's me being insulting. But that are just there to cause trouble. People That's of low intelligence who may have the balance of the mind altered by alcohol. So there we are. That's better. That's better than brain dead or brain damaged. Uh, the Church of Scotland tweeted tonight, this is coming from TikTok, uh, that they oppose anti-Catholic bigotry and uh, celebrate, and then it runs out. So I don't know what they're celebrating. And that's from Mr. Solo, who I call Napoleon. Yes. <laughs> I watched a video, Scotty, um, and it's jumping, it was jumping back to the anniversary of the referendum in 2014 is coming up. Yes. And it's coming up the 18th, Scotty. so in, in actual fact, it's today. Ah. I think it was the 18th of September, 2014. 14 it was, yes. That's right, because I met there. I, it was George Square, and it showed you George Square the day before the referendum and it was like a camera view and everybody, families were there, they were happy, they were cheering, they were singing, it was just a lovely atmosphere. It showed you the next day, George Square, when it was the the unionists um, coming to celebrate and it was a mixture of it. You saw people with the the orange flags, the orange order and the, the union. And was it, was it not nearly a riot? It was night and day, Scotty. Yes. And something I don't understand, and I'm not saying for all of them, but why, when you look at them as well, why do they? Why are they saluting Hitler? How very strange. I've seen a lot of the videos where they're doing the Nazi salute, and I'm thinking, if these people educate themselves to of what I don't, I don't understand. And well, it might be something to do with what they used to call the National Front or something like that. Right. Well, hopefully someone could come on and, and, and explain why it's done. How very if you weird. ever see the video, it's, it's on social media, or I'll try and link you to it. Yeah. It's night and day. It is absolutely, it, it, it would make you cringe if you see it actually. Some of the things you actually Probably see. made me cringe at the time. Kareem, lovely to have you on. I'd better dash. Yes, thank you. I could listen to you all night. Thank you do, my dear man, and we'll catch up soon. There we are. That's our Kareem. And... Uh, Terrific points he's been making tonight. If you've just joined us on TikTok, a very, very warm welcome. God would think the same as a Republican walk. He was a great monarch who brought peace. Angela is a very dodgy character. You're live on Scotty's. He didn't bring much peace. You're live on Scotty's phone that. in. Hello? Thank you, Scott. Thank you, do, Glenn. How are you? I'm good, thanks yourself. Yes, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Nice what one. about tonight? How good is this? Oh, it's pretty. It's just going to get better, isn't it? You know, and we've got huge numbers on the TikTok right now. But instead of drinking sherbets, just come on to sorts of Scotty Scott, isn't it? Absolutely. Good. There's Angela saying King William was a great monarch who brought peace. Okay. You've just been you commemorating know. a battle. Is How peaceful was on? the Battle of the Boyne? If you're going to come on Scotty McClough's show having a, a couple of sherbets, you're not going to enjoy the... No, you're not going to enjoy the banter. Definitely. There will be, but there is banter when they've had a few drinks, though, sometimes. Sometimes. Like, like they were on old, old call, it, old phone, in, so back in the day on radio. Ah, they used to come on with a light refreshment. When, when you used to be saying to... Uh, and all, and all that. Do you remember the one we used to do back to say, oh, come on, Scotty. Oh, no, no, no. And then you went into that drinking mode. <laughs> As it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it is. Yeah. <laughs> we used to give them all that nonsense. Absolutely fantastic. Go now on. then, how are you today? Are you all right? Did you have a bit of football yeah. today? Yeah, I've been to football today and it's uh didn't go our way, but well, uh, yeah, listen, you can't win them all, Glenn. No, you can't. yeah, it was this Wednesday. 
you get one or two passionate fans, you know, been watching them a long time. Yeah. And you're supporting the same team, but you get conflicts within the same fan base. I'll tell you what makes me laugh about these guys. They're all managers. So they stand up in the middle right in front of you. Uh, you know, when there's a matter of going, go, get him off. We've told you this for weeks. Absolutely diabolical and all that. It's like, <laughs> they're, they're, at, they're at this one and we sit, to, sit in front on him, on, in car, on car, and he's like, look at all the space he's got there. So they are, the old formation is good. They're giving it all that, aren't they? <laughs> My mate told me he got taken to a game first time, right? And he's a big guy. And he stood yeah. up and cheered when his team won. And this guy behind goes, oh, sit down, Mr. Blobby. Right? Yeah. So he turns around and he says, shut up, fish face. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> shut up, I, fish I, face. I, you, you, you look at the, everybody's an individual when they're at ground, are they? Even though yeah. they're in the same thing. And it's a bit like broadcasting. Everybody is a program controller what's right for telly what's right for radio i used to get this a guy phone one night he says they want to get you off this he said you, you're so rude to i said hey i says hang on you're, li you're listening aren't you well of course i'm says why are you listening well it's a bloody good program he said if they got decent presenter even in life what you do you you're in the ir yeah he's giving it all that you know yeah. Even when you're out and about and you're representing yourself. Yeah. You're still in the public eye, aren't you? They're giving it all that all the time, you know? You're still on show, aren't you? You're, 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 always on, you're always on show, but I mean, it doesn't matter because what you see with me is what you get. Uh, I'd love to go around the supermarket with you, Scott. Oh, you'd have a right laugh. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. You like bargains and that? Well, first thing... All bargains, all yellow label. Yeah. The only trouble is you've then got to go and eat it before it goes off. <laughs> no, all yellow label, but um, but all the bargains. The first thing you come with me to supermarket yeah. is you get uh, the security guard comes up for a chat. Yeah. He goes, how are we doing, Scotty? All right. Been hearing the phone in, you know. So that's first thing. And then uh, I go around and chat to all the assistants, you know. Hello, lovely, yeah. nice to see you. All that. <laughs> there is i i so quite That's good not. from that point and then i met me mate once in the supermarket he looks and had happened to have filled the trolley that day he goes who's coming to start with you oh you everybody wants to come to start with this guy they then start picking up things like your mustard and they're yeah. going Gr full grain mustard i don't think i know you anymore tend to do though when you go to the supermarket though you've got an idea of what you want to buy then you want to buy then you go and just buy random stuff don't you it? do you just buy random stuff I you, mean, you end up going over the trolley load of stuff you don't actually need i mean they always put the chocolates on the front don't they always that you think i wouldn't mind a little bit of chocolate actually now that i'm standing here or if you go into a certain shop they say is there anything i can uh, anything there that takes your fancy kind of thing oh this is this is just as you're being this is just as you're paying for a couple of items. I'm, I remember going to get some laces for boots, and the guy didn't have the right size. He had long ones. Yeah. And he said, "I said they're a bit long, them." And he goes, "Well, you can always take a bit off them." And I told me dad this, and he goes, "Yeah, but they never sell you one." No, definitely not. <laughs> and I you mean, could like have it. You like the barking online, though. Yeah, well, nowadays I've started looking online at some things. Never used to bother with any of that, but during lockdown, like I thought, like, I need a couple of things here, like some socks and stuff. So you just go yeah, on, they, and then the next thing they pop them through the letterbox. These, you know. certain, these certain companies, though, I'm not mentioning no names. No names. They have entertainment packages on delivery, so oh. you know, to watch, to stream stuff. Yeah, absolutely. What's I mean, they're not set to one simple criteria now, are they? No, but what they should be doing is screening Scotty McClure. On this, on their franchise, yeah, definitely. That's it. Screen Scotty McClure we, live on that. Subscribe, Dinky do. Subscribe to, subscribe to it every day a week. And everybody should say, Alexa, 
Please, Scotty McClue on YouTube. Definitely. It's mandatory. Mandatory. Love, I'll have to go or it'll be mandatory. I'll be getting and dumped. Scotty, Scotty, I think if um, you'd be welcome in a soul service, you know, went into a supermarket and you come in and Scotty's just stood there just having a, a good old chin while promoting some stuff. We always have a chat. I, I think, Scotty, if, if people don't know who you are, nah. I don't know what planet they've been on for the last 30 What days. are they playing at? That's what I say. Hey, dinky do la. Take it easy, Scotty. Top man. Ta la la. There's our Glenn. How amazing. Now, TikTok, lots of super things. Close relationship with the Catholic Church. Uh, the hooligans, that's what it's about. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry, how are we tonight, la? Yeah, very good, as always. As I'm always? Tired, but uh, listening by and watching. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You're just observing. Yeah. Now, what are you what? thinking? What about today? What about today? What is happening? Yeah. And we've got a couple of big questions. Yes, Jerry. Big questions. Questions. Do we do we pay too much for the license fee? Well, I think we do. How much Not is it now? Is it 160? It's 160 pounds. Is that right? Um, Have I got that right? You've got it right. Yeah. So, uh, I would say that uh, with repeats from the BBC, but with soaps, EastEnders, River City, Holby, and we already have the uh, casualty. But you've got Sue Barker, who obviously uh, was booted out the door, but you come at a certain age. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Well, sometimes uh, you can be booted out the door from the media any time. Well, exactly, because uh, there's an age limit as well from the BBC, it seems. Well, no, the BBC used to be, a, I don't think there's an age limit for performers, but the BBC, because you see, it can get people like, do you remember George Burns, the comedian? Yeah. I'm sure George must have been touching 100. You know, and I, I can't remember if we did in the BBC, but I think staff wise, the BBC used to throw you out at 60. That, but I noticed a senior guy got till he was nearly 70. Well, you, you know, uh, more, as you say, performers are different. Maybe it's staff. Sue Barker has done her rounds. All the years she's presented programs. Well, she's fantastic. I mean, I'm not going to uh, single out particular people. No, 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 no. But the moment BBC Three takes over Monday to Thursday after the news at ten, where um, you look at uh, BBC as well, they pay. Oh, sorry, they can't pay for sports. Day, right, Sky controls that. You're right. BBC News must cost a fortune. And then JB News, they go on about Jeremy Vine's um, uh, his salary. They all say that he makes more money than... Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not, Jerry, I'm going to stop you there because I'm not going to get into uh, individual presenters. Well, I'm not going to get right, into okay. salaries. Okay. I'm not right. going to get into any uh, names or anything like that because right. okay. that's not what we're about on here. So if right. you're asking, is the BBC licence fee value for money, then what is the answer to that? Well, that's what we'll ask for tonight. Ask, you know, I'm just pinpointing different programmes, soaps, and BBC News. Also, uh, you know, BBC Three takes over the schedule after half past ten. Now, another big question, as I say, two questions for tonight. GB News is uh, talking about a new programme or a new programme, a news programme with Murdoch. But tell me this, if um, he approaches you, right? Yeah. Right, I thought you'd left me. No, no. If Mr Murdoch approaches you mm -hmm. in the next couple of days with a big offer, mm -hmm. do you... How much will you or will he have to pay you to take your programs? 
Well, there, there's a thought. Absolutely. Well, as I've always said, if you're starting a new radio or television station, Scotty McClue should be your first port of call. Right. But, you know, he's grabbing these big names, right, for his news program. Murdoch seems to be the big thing at the moment. Right. And so I won't mention any presenters he's grabbed. No, I'll, I'll have a look program. into all this, Jenny. That's very good of right. you to point it out. I mean, I've worked but, for Mr. Murdoch before. Aye, but you won't put a finger on if he pushes you and say, right, your program's doing really well. We'll grab it. And you say, yes or no, the money, the big money. No? Well, who knows? It depends what's involved in the offer. I no. I don't look at stuff. I never, ever start with money. I look at what's involved in it and what do I think that I could do for that person. And then we would talk, in that case, would you be willing to exchange some coin of the realm? <laughs> right. Are you with me? But I no. never, ever, ever start with money because if he said... The money is on the table. There's no problem. And I thought, no, I don't think I can deliver that actual worth. But you see, what, what I say to people, tell me more about your power, your transmitters, what platforms you're on, blah, blah, blah. And then I make a decision if I'm willing to be involved in it or not. Do you think uh, other guys who he approaches have the same, you know. I don't know, Jerry, because I'm not other guys. I haven't a clue how any other broadcaster negotiates. I only know how I negotiate, and it's a conversation. And if well, they say, can you come in and see us, then obviously there's an interest there. And we get in, and then I ask the questions, the important questions, at the first meeting, not about how are you and how's the family and all that. That's all over within a first few seconds. What platforms are you on? What power are your transmitters? What are you hoping to gain here? What do you want to do with this project? And then I'll say either, right, I'm interested or include me out. You know, now I don't have anything to prove. And I'm quite happy building up my phone in on here. Well, that is good. And also, we just repeat again, do we pay too much for the licence fee? And also, where, how much is Scotty worth Ah, go around the world? There's the question. Lovely to hear <laughs> you, Jerry. And we're going around the world right now. Ah, uh, exactly. I'm, I'm spinning. We're already doing it. Dinky doola. Thank you, do. Right, there we go. That's Jenny asking all about that. How very interesting. Now, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live. I can't believe we've been up for almost half an hour. Uh, we're live on TikTok, Mr. Goatface. Thank you for your kindness. It's all the hooligans. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. So there we are. Um, I agree the ones that cause the trouble and bother on the walks are non-educated delinquents. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Ah, Scotty McClue. Who's that? Oh, it's Andy. Andy, lovely to hear from you. Dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Where's the lovable lassie of the big switchboard? The lovable oh, lassie of the big switchboard isn't with I'm me yet. I've been trying for ages to try and get through with you. I know, we've been busy, busy, busy tonight. Oh, as always, Scotty, as always. But you're here now, and that's what matters. Eventually, I've been trying all week to try and get through to you. I know, it's, it has been very busy. Oh, popular man like you, first lord of internet, world top broadcaster. Well, yes. we're, we're just, you, we're just starting, quick. Andy. I mean, we're something like, I think, is this our third week now? Oh, it's going to be massive. Going Three be weeks massive, old, but it will be very, very big. I changed the title of the YouTube channel today to uh, Scotty McClue, the internet, phone in. Oh, Hashtag wonderful. float eye. Wonderful. Um, what's happened to the, the radio? Have we just given it a... a, a well, fire? the radio, uh, the last time I was on the radio was about a year ago, and they wanted to do... 
love songs. Yeah. So we let them and do their love songs. Yeah. Um, I thought you were going to be live in Tenerife. Be going ah, to yes, well. In Tenerife for long and a long time. And we thought we were going to hear the, the world stop broadcaster in Tenerife. Well, listen, you never know what the future might bring. Well, here's hoping. Um, the world is my lobster at the moment. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Scotty, Scotty, do you not find radio so boring these days? Well, I personally do because the the big companies have bought up all the local stations, virtually yep. taken every ounce of localness out of them, yep. taken away all the personality presenters, and are turned able, it into are, a jukebox. On YouTube, are we able to uh, mention radio stations? Or no, that... we'll not. We'll not do that because you know that sort of starts directing um, things. Right. So I'd rather we didn't do that because then we can say more. You know? It's so frustrating when I mean, you're, you're, you're driving from Edinburgh, Glasgow, Perth, Dundee. Well, listen, if you remember, Andy, do you remember Scott FM? Oh, 100.3 to 101 FM. Yeah, 100.3 and 101. Now, um, it's a music station now. Now, Scott FM, without a shadow of doubt, and this is why I went with it, because when I came to Scott FM, they hadn't started doing business. They were still new, and they yeah. weren't doing much business. But I had a look at the power for the transmitters, where they were situated, etc. the management, two ITV stations. I thought, this is perfect. This is the biggest opportunity in Scottish radio ever. And that includes yeah. the launch of Clyde and Forth. And I thought, no, no, this is... 10 to 1 now everybody loves scott uh, fm because andy it did the news it did superb music they had yeah. personality presenters you could phone oh, in and talk to the presenters they would take your call it had uh, speech radio it had phone ins it had it had a uh, discussion it had sport massive yeah. sports stuff the worst decision they made was when they moved you to the mid-morning show well, no, I don't. I don't agree, and I'll tell you for why. It might not have been good for me because it got the backs up of the other stations because it was virtually tearing the heart out of their market and giving it on a plate to Scott FM. But right. what it did do, I I found at night time the audience was round about the two hundred thousand mark. We doubled it during the day. I didn't want to go on during the day, but it doubled the audience from the nights. It was a, night, it was a nightmare when you, were, when you were working during the day and you couldn't listen to you. I know. You we had sales reps going and... out for messages. We had folks go up to all sorts to pinch a wee bit of the phone in. Ah, but Scotty, at that point you only had to be fat, thunder heats, and uh, the old fat housewives. Yes, the old fat housewives. <laughs> but I'll tell you a funny one day, Andy, the motorway, something must have gone wrong. And the motorway was stopped dead. The whole M8, from Edinburgh to Glasgow, nothing was moving. So a guy phoned us, he says, Heaven's sake, Scotty, we're stuck in the M8, man. Tell us a joke, blah, blah, blah. I said, if everybody, anybody who's listening to Scotty McClure in the M8, can you toot your horn? And then it went berserk. Yes. All we could hear was horns. Beep, 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 beep. He said, they're all listening. Uh, I, was, I was never able to listen to you in the morning. Oh, the, the mornings were I huge. Was, I loved the show at night. It was great. And then night I was good. To you on QFM, Nation Radio, um, you know, followed you all, all over the place. It's, it's a travesty that you're not on, on here just now. Well, we should and be, that's, actually, that's but... Fantastic. This is fantastic. I think what we'll do is we'll build up the internet side of things and then if anybody wants it, it's up to them. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. actually put me up nor down. I mean, Jerry was asking about Mr. Murdoch's new project. I'm always interested in anything to do with communication. I'm surprised there was a one of you'll probably know a, a good colleague of yours that was on the breakfast show at Scott FM. Yes. Um, managing director of a, a new Scottish radio station that yes. have no filters. Yes. Can they not get you on for a couple of nights? I think it would be a fantastic. Who knows? Fantastic Who thing, knows you know? what the future brings? As I say, 
with with the lockdown and the pandemic, people, you know, have been working from home and all sorts of things. So, you know, people haven't actually been doing the business the way they could do business. So who knows what the future brings? Yeah. Oh, well, it's, mm -hmm. it's great to hear you back on, back on well, a, 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 a different platform, but, you know... It's, it's, it's a different yeah. platform, but remember, yeah. Andy, we're, we're something like three weeks old. There's not been a problem. I mean, some poor old news channel had a real car crash of a launch. Everything's gone very, very smoothly for me here. And uh, it's it's just amazing. And I would say if we press on doing what we're doing, the audience will come. Build and they will come. Oh, definitely, definitely. As yeah. God said to Noah about the ark, build your ark and the animals will come. 100%, 100%. It's really good to hear you back. Andy, a real privilege back. talking to you and thanks so much for your call. I appreciate it. No problem. I'll speak to you again soon, Scotty, hopefully. Absolutely, and dinky do. Take care. Thank you, dude. Take care, Lala. Okay. There we are. Okay. All the best to you, sir. Ooh, There's bye -bye. Andy. Bye -bye. Fantastic. Bye-bye. What a great guy. That was very, very interesting, and he remembers all the radio stuff. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're watching on TikTok, you're joining us for the fun in. Thank you. Uh, who have we got here? Let's see what's happening here. I'm trying to see if I can get you going. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Suzanne. Suzanne, darling. How lovely to hear from you. I was very upset with you last week because you said, I'll phone in, Scotty, but I don't want to appear thick. How could you ever oh. appear thick? Oh, I've, I've not got really any interest in it. Who's like to told you? Thought. Suzanne, who tells you this rubbish? Thought. It's lovely to hear from you, and I'm so glad that you've picked your phone up. I know, I know. It's great, and you and I are chatting. You, I'm talking to you, Suzanne, and you're talking to Scotty McClue. What's not to like? Well, I just want to say, I've been, I've been listening to you since the first night. Wow. So, um, what, why are you thinking about it? Why am I thinking about what? Why are you thinking about the phone in? How do you feel it's shaping up okay? I, I can bear and bear every night. Yeah. Every night is, is to, to hear you back on. So I, I what we need to do, Suzanne, is get the word out there so that everybody realises it's on. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, because I uh, know everybody appreciates the Scotty McClue phone in. Well, well, I used to listen to you when, well, when you were on Scott FM, so... 20, 27 um, years ago. I know, I know. <laughs> it makes me so old. Um, it's just, it's brilliant, brilliant listening. I don't even watch the telly anymore. You don't need to. You'll get all the entertainment, information and education you need on here. I don't even watch telly. I, I, I go through my uh, telly and there is genuinely, genuinely, I've got all these channels, there's nothing I want to watch. No, I'm saying, I'm saying I've got Netflix and Sky and everything else. There's and nothing I want to watch. Every month and I don't ever watch anything. No, well, you'll get this for free. Scotty McClue's free. Yeah, and you need to stay on YouTube or the radio. Yes, YouTube or the radio. One or the other. One or the other, definitely or both. I'm definitely not going to the telly. I won't watch it. Don't telly. go to the telly. Okay, go. Well, I'll tell you what I thought, Suzanne. Going to one of the telly companies and saying to them, one hour on a Friday night, say 11 till midnight, something like that, we'll take phone calls, we'll do discussions, we'll take texts, we'll take emails, we'll, we, you know, we'll, we'll have guests. That would be massive. It would, it would, reach so much more people and even though everybody's trying to share and let everybody know that you're back on I mean it's, it's a lot of work isn't it when you're typing in URLs and everything uh -huh. it takes a long time I mean a nice big transmitter a big throaty transmitter that everyone can hear Scotty McClure and see him that's what we're wanting uh, well, it's, just, it's great to have you back on Scotty and you know, it's like, there's no elves and graces with people in here. There's no. Jobs, all, Proper people. All, like family. Genuine people, Suzanne. Folk like yourself. The salt of the earth. Uh, we're, we're all the McClough 
family. The McLean family. Can you see? Are you? Can you see me right now? Or are you on your phone? I, I've got you on the telly because Kareem said I could put um. Aye. Put it connect from my phone to the TV. So you, I see your mug. Do you see my mug? It's bigger than my head. I see that as well. Massive. We love it. It's what you call a bucket of tea. Oh, I've got my tea as well. It's a shame you can't see it. Absolutely. Angel, that's been a privilege having you on. Don't leave it so long next time. Come on for a wee blather. I will do. And remember, no, you're a very smart lady. No. Yes. No, you won't get any intelligence from me. I'll just We've listen. just had intelligence flowing out of you. No, no. Fantastic. <laughs> Love you lots. Thanks, Suzanne. You as well. Hey, dinky do angel bye just now what a top lady that is wonderful you're live and scotty's phone in who's that hello 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 who's that hello this is scott this is danny calling danny dinky do how are you i'm very well how are you yeah better for hearing you cool well i'm calling from london wow you're watching me in Londinium. I love it. Hello? You there, Danny? Danny from London. It's gone. Seems to have gone on hold. I don't know what's happened there. He'll maybe give us a call back, but that's fantastic. Welcome, welcome, guys. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Floatai. This is the internet phone in. And we are on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 9 till 10. Friday, Saturday, 10 till 11. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. I'm getting the second call in. Uh, oh, good for you, Glenn. Quite right and all. Nice one. I, hey. like, I like the way you've set everything out with all thoughts and that, you know. Is it all right? I think it's brilliant. Yeah. And you've got all the information there. That's all you've done all that. You've done a great job of that anyway. Is, is that all right? All the information along the bottom. Yeah, I think it's fantastic, yeah. Yeah, it looks okay, does it? Yeah, it was pretty good, yeah. Good. That's excellent, Glenn, because it just lets people know what we do and how to get in touch. Just come to it straight to the point, Scotty. You know, yeah. none of your nonsense, none of your fancy stuff, none of your music, yeah. none of your trailers, all that stuff. Yeah. Just Scotty McClue's here. Give him a call. Oh, defo, defo, but we, we, that's for the future. The trick is to get on and then see what's what. Like text and that, like putting in. Yeah, and then if everybody goes, Scotty, we're all going to send you a tenner. I think, right, yeah. thanks, I can spend that on the show. Nice one. <laughs> I mean, when you come to think about, you know, like, in interval, like when the film's coming on, like when you're wanting to watch a really exciting film, when you see a trailer, yeah, put the Scotty McClung phone in. Fantastic. Don't miss it, otherwise, you'll just you'll miss a day. Of your life. You'll you'll miss the most important days of your life. You Absolutely, you miss a second of McClung. You miss a moment of life. Companies did have a field day with your sky. They'd love all that right in the middle of I'll tell you, you used to do cinema advertising with Century Radio. Yeah. Somebody said I, I it came up, I, I said I knew you were on because we're watching at the pictures. I said, Wow. Like, like I said, getting the production team onto it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you what else they had with Century. It was brilliant. They're talking bus stops all over Manchester and Liverpool. So you walk past a bus stop and it, it triggered it, right? The the photo cell. And it yeah. said, Here, what are you doing there? Scotty McClure, just for you. And they would turn no, right, no. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. <laughs> some, some food chains, when you put your rubbish in a bin, they do it in, in certain shopping centres. Right, and you get a bit of a chat then. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't think I want to be associated with a rubbish bin. Putting your food in bin, you know, when you're throwing your rubbish away. Yeah. It's good for kids, isn't it? Hey, absolutely. Yeah, we, absolutely, have Glenn. Seen, have you ever <coughs> seen uh, a comedy called Off the Rockers? The, the, old, these, the old people and that. No, I, I don't think I've seen that one. And uh, Summit 60 play on 
Jungens. Yeah. Uh, it's out of this world, guy. Is it good stuff? Oh, it's it's, a, it's amazing stuff. I mean, I don't think age comes with. Uh, I think age is just a number anyway, Scotty, to be honest. Ah. Because uh, it can be as entertaining as you want to, but it's just it's just experience, isn't it? It's experience. That's what it's all about. You, you mature. You mature like a fine wine. Yeah, that's what it's all about, la. Because uh, look at these actors, these fantastic actors, yourself included, obviously. I thank you. But uh, these actors, these younger generation actors, can learn a lot from these more experienced. Oh, actors. of course you can. Of course you can, absolutely. The th what's interesting when you get very experienced actors working on something and the young actors have never heard of them. Definitely. You know, and I remember some girl in one of the soaps saying to a very experienced actor, oh, well, this must be good experience for you. One of the finest actresses in, in Scotland is going to be June Brown, isn't it? Oh, she's wonderful. She knows Scotty yeah. McClure, you know. Oh, does she? Uh, a friend of mine knows June very, very well, and I remember she did a voiceover and said, Oh, hello, dinky do to that Scotty McClue. She's been in uh, Coronation Street as well, I think, hasn't she? She's wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely. My when dear you, man, uh, I'm going to have to dash because. You know, when you, when you uh, worked in Granada, near Granada. Yeah. Did you. Uh, I popped in. Uh, you popped into Rovers then? Yeah, yeah. I used to pop in and see them. You can actually go and get a tour around the street. You, you can, yes. Yeah, yeah, it was all there I mean, because it was all right right on Granada's doorstep. Fantastic. I bet it's a fantastic experience though, to go. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't manage to get on it because I was always working. But yeah. um, but I used to pop up and see them at Granada Television. You would have, you would have landed a gig on that show if you'd have wanted. I think so. Yeah. I think so. 100%. You'd have been better than Royard. Oh, I don't know about that. But listen, that, you don't know been, what the future holds, Glenn. I, I, could, I could have seen you as uh, Prince Abbott and Fred Elliott. Fred Elliott. Oh, maybe owning one of the shops. Checking over some house. Ab absolutely. That's it. What can I get you, love? You don't, you don't, you don't need Dev. You've got Scotties. And you'll be working alongside... Uh, all these wonderful Tyrone's, people. Tyrone's, Tyrone's not. Absolutely. Listen, I'm going to have to dash, love. Nice one, Scott. Hey, dinky do. Are you on tomorrow, Scott? Eh? Uh, no, not tomorrow. Uh, Monday night, 9 o'clock. You're putting your feet up for a well-earned rest, aren't you? Well, you've got to have one night a week. You know what I mean? You've, you've got to keep it fresh, I think. Keep it fresh, I always say, lad. Dinky do. Nice one, Scott. Nice one. Top man, that's our Glenn. Second call of the night, he's had, actually. Lovely to have you with us, folks. Dinky do. Where can I send a donation? Lerwick guy, you're very, very kind. Now, I think uh, on the YouTube, if you go onto the YouTube channel, you'll get some details for paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Nobody. Ah, must be somebody. Fantastic. I think they panic. You need a PA, McClure. Of course we do. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you. It's Scotty McClure. How are you? Hello. Who's that? Hello. Who's that? Have you got a first name? Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. Yes. Lovely I'm to have you with us. And... You what, la? Hello? You there, Kevin? Hello, Kevin? Right, we can't hear him. Poor love. There we go. Thank you. Not very clear. Um, to the telephones as quickly as possible. Don't you wear a hackle, says Geodog. Uh, no, we don't wear a hackle with this one, Geodog. Uh, there's Shay saying you're not funny. Well, we never said we were. So I don't know where you got that from. There we are. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. There's obviously one or two, always there's one or two wee trolls. Come on, Dinky Do. No, Peter, we don't go any of that. We just say Dinky Do. There we are. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty says Abby. Hello, Abby. And a very warm welcome on TikTok. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us on the phone in, then we've got 10 minutes left. Use it well and use it wisely. 
We've been discussing Glasgow today played host to the Orange Walk. And the question we're asking is, <coughs> pardon me, is the Orange Walk a thing of the past? Do tell us. A wee sip of tea now. A little bit of housekeeping. If you're on YouTube, can you follow me and tap the bell to get your notifications when Scotty McClue goes live? If you're on Twitch, then um, can you go to Scotty underscore McClue and follow me on Twitch? Very, very important. We're building up Twitch. Love it, says Peter. No problem, Peter. Not a problem at all. Dinky Doo from Drum Chapel says the wonderful Scott Fraser in Drum Chapel in Glasgow. Lovely to have you with us, Scott, and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's phone in, the internet phone in. That's what it's going to be known as from now on. But who is Scotty McClure? Scotty McClure is me. Hashtag float I, the first lord of the internet. I don't think it'll ever be a thing of the past. Bigots are eternal. Well, I don't know, Peter. I mean, what would Jesus think of the Orange Walk? And King William was a very, very bad man and a very poor king. So, you know, I mean, are we representing the wrong person here? You know, should we have had James II? I ask you. Although Queen Anne was pretty bad news as well. And she was a Stuart. Uh, but remember when uh, the Battle of the Boyne, when King William came over, Scotland was an independent country. So King William isn't really anything to do with Scotland, you know, but I suppose we'd had the union of the crown. So I suppose, yes, he was. Sorry, I'll take that back. He was actually the King of Scots as well. I miss Diana Riggs, says Chris. Absolutely, Chris. Outstanding actress. What's this channel about, says Dylan. It's about communication, Dylan. It's about phone in. Uh, we bring in the TikTokers. We can't include them as a platform in the phone in, but we do pop up so that everybody on TikTok can share the phone in. It makes sense. I need you in my life. Brilliant sound. Missed you from Scott FM. Thank you, Keith. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's phone in. We're live across the internet. We're on YouTube, Twitch. Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, so there we go. Larry Guy. Larry Guy, Scotty McClue, just so that you know. McClue's kingdom, dinky do. Absolutely, Chris. Wonderful stuff. Now, what else have we got happening on here? There's a bit of change for you. Just to let you know what's happening, I shall pop up with that one. Can you see that one across the bottom of your screens? How amazing is that? So there we are. Your name and we're on it. Absolutely. Wonderful stuff. Come and join us on the phone in. Telephone number 01416289795. If you've been ringing and ringing and ringing all night and you haven't been able to get through, then there's a line free right now. 01416289795. There we are. Angela. We don't know what was going on there. We haven't uh, heard any more about that. Why do you have the hat on? Uh, because it keeps my head nice and warm. There we are. What's your thoughts on the LGBTQ community? I think probably the LGBTQ community should be LGBTQS to include straight people. Because people in LGBTQ community, LGBTQ community, are wanting inclusion. They want to be included. So I would say in that case, bring in streets and explain to them what you're all about and get a higher level of understanding. There we are. What regiments the hat, mate? Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. There's Louise. Louise says, M-A-G-A, -A, make America great again. I think the Donald's coming back. You're live on Scotty's phone in, is that? Oh, nobody. Right. <laughs> Somebody's seeing if the line works. Yes, it does. So feel free to come on. And just build up your confidence. You know, don't let your bottle go at the last moment. Come on and have a chat with Scotty McClue. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, we're just a bloke across the internet. You know what I mean? 
America. Yes, absolutely, Chris. Fantastic stuff. Yes, I, what I was saying to you, I think America would like the Donald to come back. What do you reckon? So there we are. Tell us what you think on the TikTok. Would you like Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States? There we are, because there's a fair chance. When we looked at when the mainstream media was torn out of everything, it looked like they turned on the Donald, and he was doing a pretty good job. Morrison says no. So there we are. Well, well, Morrison, no. Yes, bring back the Donald, says Louise. Absolutely. I think that's what you want in America. You're live on Scotty's phone in, is that? Hello? Oh, somebody's shuffling about, panicked. There we are. Don't panic, guys. You've nothing to panic about. Don't let your bottle go. Come on and have a wee chat. If you're ringing, then go through with it. That's what I would say to you. Don't panic at the end. Go, oh. <laughs> you know, it's that sort of idea, isn't it? Yes, bring back the Donald, says everyone. Doddy says, hello again, Scotty. Hello, Doddy. I'd like to see a better candidate for the Republican Party. Right. So there we are. But can you get a better candidate than the Donald? Was he not actually an outstanding putus when you look at what you've got just now? Chris says America's always been great and still is. That's why it takes a beating and still keeps ticking. I tried calling in, but the call went weird. Ah, Doddy, right. Well, maybe you just hadn't got your kit turned down when I shouted hello. So that was Doddy calling in, guys. And his call went weird. <laughs> there we are. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Who's that? What's happening? Who's uh, that? First name. Hi, uh, hello. Hi, have you got a first name? Uh, I, I'm Patrick. Patrick. Patrick, that's all we need to know. How are you? Hi, uh, Patrick, bro. Patrick, bro, excellent. excellent. Lovely to hear uh, you. I'm not bad. How's yourself? Very well, very well, Patrick. Thanks for calling uh, in. Hi. I've, I've been watching your streams for a while now. Are you enjoying it? No worries, bro. I'll catch you after, right? Absolutely, Patrick. Top man. I'd like to see if they can find one. I prefer not to dwell on one candidate and make it fair. Trump is Churchill reincarnated. I think Trump might even be better than Churchill. Do you know what I mean? You're live with Scotty's phone in, is that? Hi, Scotty's Pat, dinky do. How are we, Scotty? We're very well. Better for hearing you. I'm just calling to see if you've ever uh, watched this program Trolling Men on Dave. Yes. Fantastic show, Scotty. Wonderful courage, these guys. Yes, I, I like Jimmy Bucking from the ship, Amity. Yes, wonderful courage. He's got an online fishing store now. Fantastic. Where you can buy the product. We like that. Do you like fish, Scotty? What's your favourite kind of fish? My favourite kind of fish, I think, would probably be going for the haddock. Haddock, you can't beat some haddock, especially uh, from the chippy. A nice bit of haddock from the chippy, Pat. That's what I say. Oh, yeah. Golden, golden, golden crispy batter. Oh, stop, man, or I'll be wanting a fish tea. Oh, you should go and get one tomorrow with some mushy peas. Mushy peas. Dinky-doo. Pat, thanks very much for your call. I'm going to have to dash. Right, guys. I'm saying bye-bye to the TikTokers. Dinky-doo. Good night. God bless. There we are. Wonderful. That's it. Fantastic. So that's our TikTokers gone. There we are. Now, we're just having a look. How are our phone-in people? Tremendous stuff. There's a fair quer quern of you on here. I can tell you. Amazing. We've got about 30 seconds left of tonight's phone-in. Guys, it's been outstanding tonight. Join me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 9 o'clock till 10, Friday and Saturday, 10 o'clock until 11. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Thank you for joining in. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every one of you. Have a lovely, lovely evening. and. Ta-da, love!